Hello, and welcome to the Scupper Postgres demo. In this demo, we are going to show how Scupper can allow you to host a Postgres SQL database in a private cluster and then access it from two different public clusters. We will run the two public namespaces on an AWS cluster, and the private one will be running on a cluster on our local machine. Okay, so let's start out by initializing Scupper in all of our namespaces in private one and public one and public two. Now let's connect private one to both of the public clusters. To do that, we are going to go to the public clusters and ask the Scupper instances running there to create connection tokens that will allow whomever we share them with to connect to those clusters. In public one, we will create a token for private one to use, and also a token for the other public cluster to use. In public two, we will create a token for private one to use. Now please note that the tokens that Scupper creates contain encryption secrets that allow other Scupper installations to connect with yours. These tokens should be handled securely and only shared with trusted sites. And now let's go ahead and use those tokens to connect from private one to both public clusters and connect the public clusters to each other. So for this example, we have made a triangular Scupper network. Now we can apply our YAML files. The YAML file for the private cluster will start the deployment of our Postgres database along with its associated service. while the YAML file for both public clusters only creates a bare service. And now the magic happens. In the private cluster, we annotate our Postgres service. Scupper notices this and sets up proxies for the annotated service on the rest of the Scupper network. Finally, we start identical Postgres shells on all three clusters, and we are ready to make and use our database. So, in the private cluster, we will create a database called Markets. And then over in the public one cluster, we will tell the Postgres shell that we want to access the markets database. And it knows what we are talking about. So from public one, we are able to create a table called product in our database. And then from public two, we can add rows to the product table. Okay, let's see if that worked. And it did. And now we can see the same results from public one. And also back in private. So, what just happened? When we used the Postgres shell in the two public clusters, those shells were sending their TCP messages to the proxies that Scupper had created in their clusters. The Scupper proxy wrapped those messages and gave them to the Scupper router, which sent it to its sibling router on the private cluster. There, the message was unwrapped 
and delivered to the Postgres deployment, and the whole process was reversed to get its response back to the application on the public cluster. We could have done the same thing in a larger network of clusters using any topology you like. Once connecting all of the clusters with scupper instances, the scupper system will be able to route any request where it needs to go and bring back the results, even if the network topology changes. That's what Scupper does.